welcome to another edition of Biloxi A to Z, the insider's guide to what's happening in Biloxi. This is being recorded for Friday, August 4th, 2023. It's August and BTV has a new lineup of programming. We'll tell you what you can expect, including a new episode of Biloxi Cooks. The tennis courts at Hiller Park are coming down. We'll tell you what's next. And we'll tell you what the weather is forecast for this weekend and give you a preview of events taking place in Biloxi. But first, we begin with the August BTV programming. All this month, the anniversary months of Hurricane Camille and Hurricane Katrina, the city's municipal television channel BTV will be airing Camille, the original monster storm. The hour-long documentary airs at 8 a.m., 2 p.m., and 8 p.m. throughout the month of August. On Biloxi Cooks, you'll see a twist on a summer favorite when the chef at BR Prime prepares a tomato watermelon salad. The new episode of Biloxi Cooks from the Beau Rivage restaurant BR Prime airs daily at 7 a.m., 1 p.m., and 7 p.m. all this month. You'll also see what's going on at MGM Park with the latest episode of Shuckers Insiders, and you'll see replays of recent city council meetings and other public gatherings, as well as the latest infrastructure report and updates from Keesler Air Force Base and the Biloxi Public Schools. BTV is available online by clicking here and available to Biloxi residents on Sparklight Channel 56 and AT&T Channel 99. You can see the full program listing in the August issue of B News Monthly. The tennis courts at Hiller Park are coming down. They were heavily damaged by a tornado in December. Contractors are now removing the entire area. The work should be complete next week. Or what's next? Well, the courts were built on the spring, so for now, the Biloxi Parks and Recreation Department will make the area a green space. Tennis courts are still available at the A.J. Holloway Sports Complex off Wells Drive and at the Mark Mahanovich Memorial Park, also known as Circle Park, located on Porter Avenue. On Friday morning, a groundbreaking event was held at the Pops Ferry Recreational Area. Construction has begun on the restroom building next to the Pops Ferry Pickleball Courts off Pops Ferry Road. The $142,000 project will include two restrooms, a drinking fountain, and a locker room. The Biloxi City Council held two meetings on Tuesday at Biloxi City Hall. A budget meeting followed by a regularly scheduled meeting. The public meetings were streamed live and recorded. To see recordings, visit online at biloxi.ms.us. Click here, then click here. The weekend forecast calls for more daytime highs in the mid-90s with evening lows only dropping to about 80 degrees. There is a continued chance of afternoon or evening showers, but otherwise plenty of sunshine. Biloxi Main Street's first Friday block party continues in their new location at the corner of Bone and Howard Avenue, right behind the Bond Grant House, located at 932 Howard Avenue. They'll start out with live music by the Karate Kids, followed by the Network Band, all while enjoying food trucks, fellowship, and fun. This family-friendly event takes place tonight from 5 to 9 under their I-110 overpass. Soccer, football, and cheer registration will take place on Saturday from 9 a.m. till noon at the Donald M. Snyder Community Center located at 2520 Pass Road. And while you're there, remember to get information on the football and cheer parent meeting that is scheduled for next Wednesday, August 9th. Retailers can attend the Biloxi Wholesale Gift Show and experience over 250 booths with manufacturers from 15 states and a huge selection of new and trendy merchandise, including holiday, home decor, garden accessories, jewelry, apparel, and much more. The Biloxi Wholesale Gift Show begins Saturday at the Mississippi Coast Coliseum and Convention Center. And to beat the summer heat, you can head over to the Ground Zeroes Blues Club and experience some of the most prolific blues legends and blues masters in the world. Tickets to the events mentioned are available by visiting the various venues' websites. To see a list of what's happening throughout the month, check out the Biloxi Community Calendar in the new August issue of B News Monthly. It can also be viewed on the city's website by clicking here. We leave you today with views of palm trees, white sand, and the I-110 loop. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you again next week.